Hey there, uh, my name is Noah Pacel, and this is my first ever Blender video anything. I hope you're going to like it. Um, it's about a tool um, that was put together by a Blender artist username, I'm going to guess at this pronunciation here, Liero. Back in uh, March of 2010, he posted to the Blender Artist Forum about a script he wrote called the Multiple Extrusions, Extrusions Script. And apparently it's a like something he encountered before in Cinematrix ex Extrude. I don't know what that is. However, it's pretty neat. Um, it's not available as an add-on. He just provides a link to a Python script, which is actually quite cool if you're just getting into Python scripting with Blender, which is... I'm not even there yet, honestly, but um, it's, uh, it seems like a very small script, probably very easy to understand. Um, and it produces some pretty interesting results right away. So it's not you won't find it if you um, open their user preferences and you look in community official and testing for anything called extrude or multi. Um, it's just not there. Uh, you need to add it to in the scripting view. So if you change your your view from the default view to the scripting view, oh, look, I've already had it added. Um, uh, then, then in your editor, you can choose a new editing page, um, and you can paste the code that you find from this link. Paste it right in there. Um, then what you want to do is you want to open your tool panel over here, either by pressing T or clicking on the plus on the left-hand side of the 3D view. Uh, when you run the script, what's going to happen is we're going to register this tool, and it's going to drop a new panel into our tools uh, tools view here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Run Script. There we have it. We've got our new tool. Right now it's disabled because it needs to run on something. Okay, so let's make some geometry for it to run on. We're going to switch to the default view again, just because it's familiar. Okay, um, then we're going to go ahead and add a plane. You could add any shape, obviously, um, but uh, planes, planes are good. Um, we're going to edit the shape and just give it a few um, subdivisions. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do a, a bunch that we so we can look at because uh, it's sort of. I think this tool shines when it's working with multiple items at a time. Okay. So we've got some geometry, some faces, and the multiple extrude tool works on faces of the geometry. Um, why don't we just go ahead and click that button, and you'll see right away, boom, it has extruded each face a multiple number of times. Actually, it's extruded it five times. Um, but if you notice, it's getting smaller each time. Um, this little panel, I don't know what this is called, but it's so handy for everything. It's sort of the properties panel for whatever you just did super handy. That's where we find the settings for the multiple extrusion tool um, after we click the button. So there's all kinds of things like the offset changes the height uh, of each extruded face. Um, the scale is a relative scale of each face so we can taper it quickly it becomes much more jaggy and then there's um, sort of randomized slash noisy uh, variants within all your faces so you can rotate them all a little bit for instance. Um, I find this all looks pretty good um, if you do subsurface stuff. Um, let's go ahead and light this scene a little bit. Oops, I'm on the wrong side of my scene. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, yeah, if you add subdividers to your geometry now, after the multi-extrude, um, you pretty much instantly start getting things that look like grass. Uh, and it's just a great tool, a lot of fun to play with. I highly recommend it um, for a number of reasons. And it's actually too bad that it's not available as an add-on. I'd be curious why that is. Um, it's super handy and fun. Okay. Thanks for listening uh, or watching. Uh, if you know any other cool tools like this, let me know. I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for things that don't require actual uh, any actual modeling skill. That's sort of my my uh, default program. Okay, thanks.